Hello everyone. Now today let us see the equation that we can use to determine the concentration of the mixture of the acids that can be obtained by mixing two different concentrated acids or uh, how to determine the total volume of the solution uh, that can be formed by mixing two different volumes and concentrations of the uh, different acids. Now we know that normality is equal to a number of gram equivalents number of gram equivalent per liter okay or we say normality is equal to number of milli equivalents per liter of the solution okay from this equation can we get the equation for milli equivalents and gram equivalents this is gram this is gram equivalents per liter this is milli equivalence per liter. So, if we want to calculate milli equivalence, we write milli equivalence will be equal to normality into liter that will be taken in ml. Or if we want to calculate gram equivalence, that will be equal to normality into liter of the solution that is volume taken in liters. Okay. So, basically, if we have uh, the normality and the volume of the solution given we can get the milli equivalence of the solution or if it is if we want to calculate in terms of gram equivalence we multiply the normality with the volume of solution in terms of liters okay now let us take few examples and understand uh, in detail the required concentrations and volume to be determined of the uh, solutions see the first example Calculate the molarity of the solution that is obtained by mixing 400 ml of 0.5 molar HCl with 600 ml 1 molar HCl. So, we are given with 400 ml 0.5 molar HCl solution. See this we can use theoretically for calculation in the numericals as well as practically. So we have 400 ml of 0.5 molar HCl and 600 ml of 1 molar HCl. These two solutions we have. Now we have to determine the molarity of the solution obtained by mixing these two solutions. So what will be the molarity of the resulting solution? Volume is not given. So total volume we can calculate from this given volumes. So total volume we have by mixing these two, we get one, uh, it is given uh, 600 ml and 400 ml. So 1000 ml will be the total volume. The equation that we use when we have two different molarities, see dilution factor equation we know m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 or n1 v1 is equal to n2 v2. So when it, whenever the um, two solution molarities are given, we use the equation m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to m3 v3. So m1 v1 is for the first solution, m2 v2 for the second and m3 v3 will be for the, for the resulting solution. So here in this case and this term itself means the molar equivalent okay the term we have taken molar equivalence is uh, the milli equivalence is equal to normality into liter or normality into ml so m1 v1 because here all the concentrations are given in terms of molar we are writing m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and the concentration also it is asked in molarity calculate the molarity of the solution if uh, we want to calculate in terms of normality we, we write here n1 v1 plus n2 v2 is equal to n3 v3 but as such hcl is the solution given so its molarity and normality will be same being a monoprotic acid so m1 for the first that is 0.5 volume taken is 400 plus molarity of the second 1 molar 600 ml of the volume taken what will be the molarity of the resulting solution and the volume is 1000 ml so we get here uh, 0.5 into 400 so 20 and 200 so 200 plus 600 is equal to m3 into 1000 so molarity of the resulting solution will be 800 divided by 1000 that will be equal to 0.8 molar.
okay so resulting solution will have the concentration of 0.8 molar when these two solutions 400 ml of 0.5 molar and 600 ml of 0.1 molar hcl are mixed now see the second example 10 ml what is given 10 ml 1 normal hcl 10 ml 1 normal hcl 20 ml n by 2 h2so4 and 30 ml n by 3 nitric acid these three are mixed together and the total volume made is 1 liter what will be the normality of the resulting solution so here again in the question the concentration given in is in terms of normality if it would have, would it have been given in terms of molarity then we will convert into normality by multiplying the uh, factor that is for the h2so4 because it is dibasic acid but here it is given in terms of normality so we will directly uh, take that so 10 ml 1 normal hcl is given 20 ml n by 2 of the h2so4 and we have 30 ml n by 3 of the hno3 is given now what is asked these three are mixed together and total volume is made 1 liter and what is uh, normality is to be calculated. So, using the equation, we write N1V1 plus N2V2 plus N3V3 will be equal to N4V4. N4V4 is the resultant normality or resultant solution volume and concentration. So, N1V1 if we take, it is 10 into 1 plus uh, we have 20 into 1 by 2 normality is half and we have 30 into 1 by 3 what will be the normality of the resulting solution and we require 1 liter so 1000 ml of the solution now calculating this we get 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to n4 into 1000 so, N4 will be equal to 30 divided by 1000. That gives 0 0.03 normal. So, resulting solution will have 0 0.03 normality. When these three are mixed together, we get 0 0.03 normal solution. Let us take one more example in which we have to determine the volumes of these acids required. See how much volume of 8 normal H2SO4 and 2 normal H2SO4 should be mixed so that we get 1 liter of the solution with 5 normal H2SO4. So resultant solution will have normality of 5 normal and um, uh, the final volume will be 1 liter. How much volume of each of this 8 normal and 2 normal H2SO4 is to be taken. So here volume is to be determined of the acids to be mixed. So we suppose here let the volume of 8 normal h2so4 to be taken as say uh, x okay x ml because it is the higher concentration solution so total volume given is 1 liter therefore volume of 2 normal h2so4 to be taken will be equal to total volume is 1 minus the volume of 8 normal taken is x so it will be 1 minus x this much is taken of the higher concentrated solution so 2 normal solution will be total minus this much of the 8 normal taken okay now using the equation n1v1 plus n2v2 two solutions are given is equal to n3v3 so n1v1 normality of the first if we write that is 8 into x volume we don't know plus normality of the second 2 normal into 1 minus x normality of the final solution that we require is 5 into 1 liter okay so calculating this we get 8x plus 2 minus 2x is equal to 5 so uh, simplifying this we get 6x is equal to 3 x will be equal to 1 by 2 that is equal to 0.5 liters so value of x is equal to 0.5 liters or 500 ml so we say 8 normal h2so4 uh, to be taken is 
0.5 liter or 500 ml and mixed with two normal H2SO4 will be also required is 1 minus X that will be equal to 0.5 liters again. This on mixing gives 5 normal H2SO4 1 liter of the solution. So in any way we can determine if the total volume is given we, we can determine the volume required to be mixed of the different concentration or if the volumes are given we can determine the final volume or the final concentration of the solution. So let us take one more example. Given solutions are 100 ml 1 molar HCl, 100 ml 0.2 molar sulfuric acid and 100 ml 0.1 molar HNO3 nitric acid. These are mixed together. Then what will be the final concentration of the solution first question and the second question is what would be the final concentration of the solution if it is made to 1 liter by adding water. So let us solve this. Uh, given is the uh, volume and the molarity of the 3 but it is given in terms of molar. So uh, multiplying it by the factor monoprotic acid so it will be 0.1 as it is. This is diprotic so we will uh, multiply it by n factor that is 2 and here it will be 0.1. So taking this into consideration we take N1V1 plus N2V2 plus N3V3 will be equal to the final concentration and final uh, volume. So N1 is 0.1 molar HCl monoprotic volume taken is 100 plus dibasic sulfuric acid we are taking 0.1 into 2 multiply by the N factor because it is a dibasic and volume is 100 plus N3V3 that is 0.1 into 100 will be equal to how much of the concentration so that is equal to N4. And the final volume, so final volume here to determine the concentration is equal to total volume taken of these three acids is 300 ml. Each of these is taken 100 ml. So final volume we take here 300 ml. Calculating this, we get a 0.1 into 100. So we get 10 plus 0.2 into 100, uh, 0.2 into 2, 0.2 molar of sulfuric acid into uh, 2. This is 0.2 sulfuric acid into 2. So 0 0.4 uh, and 40 plus 0 0.1 into 100. So 10 it is equal to N4 into 300. So N4 will be equal to 60 divided by 30. That is equal to uh, 1 by 5. That gives you 0 0.2 normal of the total solution concentration. Now the question second if we see what would be the final concentration of the solution if the solution is made to 1 liter. Now we have the final concentration of the solution and this is for the volume 300 ml. So if we want to calculate for the second part we can use the final concentration as N4V4 we have and now we how much we want we write N uh, final volume and final concentration so nfvf if we denote that by that term so normality of the final solution that we have calculated is 0.2 for how much volume we have taken 300 and the normality of the final solution now we want to determine for 1000 ml of the solution so final concentration of the solution will be 0 0.2 into 300 divided by 1000. So simplifying this equation and calculating we get the final normality as equal to 0 0.06 normal. So this way we can uh, use this equations to calculate the uh, required concentration of the final solution or required volume to be mixed to get the final volume or final concentrated solution. I hope this helps to uh, do the calculations in an easy way. Thank you so much.